Hi everybody, I'm uh, Dr. Nick Bowden of Spine and Joints. I'm a sports chiropractor. Kinesio taping is a really valuable tool if you know how to use it. Okay, there's some common mistakes people make. One is they touch the sticky part, which is a problem, okay? Or they pull too tight, and that means the tape comes off very, very easily. So there's a few tricks that you can learn to make sure that your taping is more effective and so that when you're halfway through your marathon or halfway through your, your swim or your jog or your Zumba, that the tape's not peeling off. That's a very common thing that happens and that's just because people are not trained how to do this properly. EPR is a great product to use, it's nice and sticky. I've used many products, this is one of the better ones. The one that we're looking today is we're looking at uh, taping the triceps muscle. Now basically, uh, there's three things that Kinesio tape uh, can achieve. One is to reduce the activity of a muscle and therefore the tendon. All right? Remember, the, uh, the tendon joins the muscle onto the bone. Okay. Number two, we can increase the activity of a muscle. So if we want a muscle to be more active, we can actually increase the activity of a muscle. And number three, we can use it for a supportive type of taping technique. So we will cover all of those uh, in these videos. So now we're going to do the triceps. So the triceps muscle all right, runs through here. There's basically three attachments of the triceps, but we're just going to concentrate on the muscle at this stage. And what the tricep does is it extends the elbow. So it's involved in extending the elbow. So it contracts and extends my elbows. If we wanted to bend, the biceps would be, would be working. If she wanted to extend, all right, the triceps would be working. When you tape a muscle, you must tape it in a stretched position. That's in order to activate the nerves and the, the, the sensors that are sitting inside the muscle. So basically in the middle of a muscle, we have the muscle spindle, all right? And at the ends, we have the Golgi tendon organs. In order for those to be activated, we must stretch the muscle when we tape. So the trick is, when you put the first part of the tape down, make sure the, the joint is not stretched. Okay, we only stretch it when we put the rest of the tape down. So what we're going to do is, okay, we're going to go, because we want to decrease the activity of this muscle, of the triceps muscle, we're going to go again from the insertion, from away to the origin, to the middle, middle towards where the, the, the brain is. So again, just make a little tear maybe three or four centimeters from the edge. Okay, we've trimmed these and we've rounded them to make them less uh, prone to that. And you just pull that off, okay? So now in, in a relaxed position, okay, we're gonna just cover exactly where the insertion is, like that, okay? And we're gonna put that down nicely and just rub it a little bit to activate the glue, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna get to bend her arm, okay? So that we can then go and we can tape this. So we're going to tape this muscle at about 50% of the maximum, all right, and we're going to put it down, the rest of it. Okay, so you'll see, all right, this is not, there's no stretch at the beginning and no stretch at the end, the stretch is in here. So that means that this will last longer. So what you can do is then go and rub it, just use your hand if you want, to activate the glue. That's the triceps muscle, okay. What's important as well is that if people use cream or moisturizer on their skin, the tape doesn't stick very well. So make sure that the skin doesn't have a lot of cream or moisturizer on it because it will not stick. All right, that affects the adhesiveness of the glue. That's the triceps muscle.